Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do something quite different for this video. So I decided to go with my ink, uh, drawing ink. You can see I do have a few bottles and you can even get different flavors. I've got um, just plain black and then you can see I've got this burnt sienna as well. So many different flavors. I've even got, got a really bright red. Um, I don't know what on earth I'm going to use that for, but I'll be using this uh, bamboo. It's a Japanese bamboo um, brush. It's got a, a dipping, sort of dipping pen on the end. So um, I'm going to use this as my tool to dip in and uh, draw out my trees. So it's quite a nice... Um, Quite a nice thing to do I, I quite enjoyed painting this one um i'm really still the reason why the video's quite late this week i usually like to post my videos on a monday but i've really really struggled to be honest with uh this illness seems to have been lingering coughing um complete all night and not being able to sleep or lay down it seems to get worse whenever I want to sleep. So hopefully, um, I'm back in work tonight. Hopefully that um, I'm all right in work. But back to the video, I wanted to um, just do something really loose, um, have fun, something completely different. And so that's why I decided to use a dipping pen and ink. And then once I've done the drawing, uh, you can see I'm just using the the, the marks, just scribbling, uh, making marks. Um, not, I think the beauty of using this sort of uh, pen to draw ink, you really have to be you you're forced to be loose. Um, it's not something that you could take your time and really. Um, I don't think so anyway. It just seems to come through a lot better the quicker you do it. Now I know it's on time lapse, so I've I have sped the video up just a slight. I think this is times two. So just to give you the um idea of what I'm doing, and you can see the whole process as well. Plus, just to save my voice, I don't want to be talking too long. So just a simple scene. You can see I've got a path running through the um through the uh painting, and then at the bottom. I want. I decided to add a little stream or a river. So it really is fun. Um, just want to make sure my ink's dry, and I've switched from the pen to uh, using a little liner brush. So this is my two number two liner brush, and it's nice to get those branches and uh, little bits of grass, and just little details here and there. You can see. I've added some posts along the path and this just serves as a uh, leading your eye through the um, through the scene, through the painting. So it's often nice to include these as well. Now I am going to be using a hairdryer just to speed this uh, process up. One thing you do have to be careful of if you're using a hair dryer is the masking tape. So if you do have problem removing the masking tape, then it's good to add some heat. So a hair dryer would be perfect to help remove the tape. So just be aware of that. So if you are hair drying your painting, just be careful your your masking tape doesn't come loose. So now I'm adding some colour. And I wanted some uh, yellow ochre and a French ultramarine for the sky. So I'm keeping it quite simple. I don't want anything uh, too dramatic today. Uh, there's quite a lot of details in the sort of bottom half of the painting. So I wanted to have a simple sky. 
sometimes, I know I'm guilty of this uh, when you've got quite a busy painting, to have quite a, a dramatic or busy sky as well. Can be a bit, a little bit too much for the eye, can be a bit too overwhelming. So you either want to um, detail in the sky or detail in the um, in the sort of land area. There's something quite nice about ink and wash when you do a uh, paint like this. It's almost like uh, an illustration, an il illust illustrative, I don't know, illustration. Um, so something like you'd find in a children's, in a children's book. It almost reminds me of uh, Enid Blyton. Uh, some of her books they had uh, these really nice uh, illustrations in the pages of these children's stories so it always reminds me of uh, of an illustration from one of those sort of books so if you don't have uh, any ink pens or uh, dipping pens are quite nice i think i'll start using these more often i really i really am enjoying this painting this week but if you don't have any ink, then I uh, suggest, I do recommend getting some. It's quite nice to add to your watercolour uh, supplies. So every now and then it's just nice to mix things up and um, you get the dark um, 
sharp details and then the wash just lends itself to that and complements those dark uh, shapes and lines so it really is nice to use uh, when painting with watercolors uh, let me know what you think let me know your thoughts um, is is ink on wash something that you like to use uh, just drop me a comments comments in the comment section please and uh, also please do give me a thumbs up really do appreciate it i've got a lot of uh, really nice comments really nice supporters at the moment uh, some new lots of new subscribers coming through um, so i really do appreciate every single one of you as you do help my channel to grow and become what it is becoming um, i do have lots of uh, videos if you're new to this channel i do have lots of videos uh, for the friendly beginner friendly so you can check those out as well after this video um, but that's pretty much it as you may know i do like to remove the tape at the end of the painting tutorial and it just gives you a, a new way of looking at your painting um, gives you more of an idea of what it be look to what it would look like in a frame so if you do want to frame your work then uh, this is nice to have this clean white border as well it just crops the, crops the picture nicely and it gives you a nice uh, just a nice finish finish to the painting so there we go i hope you like this one thanks for joining hope uh hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you again in the next one